Now we want to get to the latest on those election results. Yep, Night Beats Joe Vasquez is live in San Francisco where one of the most hotly contested races is for district attorney. And Joe, only about 500 votes separate the top two candidates right now, right? Right. You know, a low voter turnout election. A lot of people literally walked their uh, ballots into City Hall tonight. So it's early. But yeah, all eyes are on that district attorney's race. Party. I got in this race over a year ago because I didn't think the system was working well enough for anyone. Susie Loftus is the former police commission president. The mayor recently appointed her acting district attorney and she spent the last few weeks announcing initiatives that show yeah. she supports a more robust prosecution of crimes. And too often we're presented with this choice. Do you want the city to be safe or do you want the justice system to work? We can have both. We can have a city that's safe and a justice system that works for all of us. It's going to take all of us, and I'm the leader with the experience to do it. Do you get a chance to vote yet? I'm running for district attorney. Thank you for your support. Chesa Boudin is a public defender, a lawyer who represents poor people in criminal cases. If he's the next DA, he says the criminal justice system needs reforming. Tough on crime policies aren't the solution. We need to treat every arrest as an opportunity for intervention, for transforming lives away from crime, and we need to make sure that it's easier to get help than it is to get high in San Francisco. That's not true today. Back in 1981, Boudin's parents participated in an armed robbery in New York that ended up killing three people. They went to prison. His parents were also members of the Weather Underground, a violent radical group. I was 14 months old, and I know that San Francisco voters are smart enough not to blame children, especially infants, for mistakes their parents make. San Franciscans also voted today about a measure to build more affordable housing, another that would try to overturn the city's anti-vaping law, also a tax on ride shares that would make Uber rides more expensive. And don't forget the city's highest office, Mayor London Breed, up for re-election against a few lesser-known candidates. She says she's already, she says she's already cleaned up homeless tent cities and needs another term to do more. After 18 months, you know, like people want change yesterday and it's going to take time to get to a better place. Okay, we're back live. You're looking down Market Street where uh, the Mayor London Breed's party is starting to gather. Uh, a lot of votes to be counted, but it looks like she is way ahead at this point. Now about that DA's race, I want to show you the numbers. It is very close right now and it looks like Chase Bodine is, uh, well, he's got the lead right now, 29.64% over Susie Loftus, 28.97%. Nancy Tung, third place right now, 19.85%. And of course, this is a ranked choice voting night with low uh, percentage of voter turnout. So it is going to be interesting. It could be that we do not know who the winners are in that race and some other things tonight. Back to you. All right, no definitive winner on that one right now, but here's a look at some of the propositions that Joe mentioned. Prop C, most people voting not to overturn the ban on e-cigarette sales. The yes votes are leading on Prop D, that would slap a three and a quarter percent tax on Uber and Lyft rides in San Francisco to pay for transportation improvements. Measure L in Contra Costa County would expand the western edge of Brentwood with a huge new development. Most voters tonight are saying no to this one. You can also get the very latest results right now online at kpix.com and our morning team will have the very latest on the elections that's starting bright and early at 4.30 a.m.